Okay, take a look at these great embossing folders. We are going to make some card fronts with these little pieces right here of card stock, and then we will make a card. Okay, so first all I did was take some, this is actually A4 paper because I'm in Korea, but uh, regular letter size paper will work and I am just going to cut this in half. My handy dandy paper cutter over here. And I probably should have measured that, but I'm just going to eyeball it for now. And then I'm going to have these, and that will be our card base, red and green for the holidays. And I want to make sure that all of my bases are going to be big enough for my card fronts and I think I'm going to have to trim these down too. So depending on what size border you want, you can trim down. Yeah, that's a little bit too big. You can trim these down. Sorry. Right about here. There you go. And then we have a nice border around there. And for my first embossing folder, I'm going to use the reindeer with the stocking, the present, and the star, and the tree. What we'll do is that just goes right inside your embossing folder. I'm going to kind of center that. And I need my sandwiches. And I am going to use the insert for this one because it's probably not thick enough to make the Impression. Okay, and what we'll do is we'll finish embossing the rest of those folders. Okay, so after this one, um, what I went ahead and did was, um, this one is done, I'm going to set this aside. So the rest of these, I went ahead and cut out the card base for all of the cards, and I went ahead and folded it and sized up all of the card fronts, and then I just put it, slipped it inside, and all of these are ready to go. So. The next one is this nice um, cross, and I do have something on the outside of this, or the inside, yeah, the outside, um, but that is just so that I think it was a warped, and when it goes through here, it will leave a better impression, so that's just because this is very old. And I'll take the card base out and get this in my sandwich. I'll just get this in here first. In the middle. Then my sandwich. And then run it through. one and now I can just put that aside 
These ones are done. And the snowman is next. So the card top or front fits in there. Sandwich. upside down that's okay well on the back of this one I do have I should have put it on the other side and you if you are using um, an already used piece of paper like I am um, I had just done a print and cut so uh, that line is left over for my print and cut and I will have to do that one over so I'm going to set that one aside and making sure that I don't make that same mistake Let's see which is the side that I want to be on the outside, making sure that that's face down for my snowflake. And I picked the blue one instead of red or green. I just went with a blue for the card base for the snowflake. And I will set that one over here. And let's see what I have for this one. I'm making sure again, because I think I do have, I was doing a project that I had a, um, a lot of pieces of paper that I needed to do a print and cut. So this is the inside, making this what I want to be on top. going on the red. Okay, and before I put the card fronts on the card bases, I am going to use um, the Distress Ink for some of these. I have blue, green, and red. And so I'm going to do the snowman first. And I'm just going to do a light brushing, so. That way the raised part will show the blue. And then we're ready to put on here. And I'm just going to use the double-sided tape and tape that on. And I also like to crease my card bases before I send them and this is just um, an eighth of an inch thick uh, double-sided tape and I put that on all four edges Okay, and next I have the Christmas present 
reindeer on the green and so I'm going to use the green distressing and again I'm just lightly running that over the top you can go back over it sometimes to make it darker the edge of my card and double sided tape. just the snowflakes that are falling down and I put that on the red so I'm going to go ahead and do this one in red And there is a spot right here on the bottom that is kind of blank because of the snowflakes coming down. Um, might be a good place for a sentiment. So for now, I'm just going to put it on the card. And for the next one, I thought it would be kind of fun, even though it's going to be a red border. This one is kind of cute. It says Santa, tis the season, Merry Christmas, check the halls, merry, merry and bright, cheer, peace, joy, merry, ha, 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 ho, 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 Merry Christmas and Noel. So I'm going to do it in red and green. This is distressing and it is pretty forgiving. So if you make a mistake, it's probably not going to be noticeable. And let's see if I can do the same in red. Maybe I'll crisscross it. So that some of the green is still showing through. Okay, red and green to this one and also it would probably look okay on a green as well if we put it on green this one is the penguin with the Christmas tree thought that would be cute with the green also Instead of going diagonal, I'm just going in a circular motion and it also make, creates um, Okay, this one is slightly bigger. It's more like um, a five by seven. So I'm also gonna do the red and green for this one, but I'm going to do maybe an inch of red and then an inch of green. So they'll overlap just a bit. Darker on there. 
overlap that a little bit better. And the border's a little bit big, but I think it will be all right. We will finish up with the snowflake and the cross.